You don't know where you came from, you don't know where you are, and you don't know where you're going when you die. Period. A Michigan doctor admits that he helped a woman with Alzheimer's disease commit suicide, but he insisted he did nothing wrong. She looked up at him with pleading eyes, and he could understand that this woman just wanted to end it all. He is Dr. Jack Kevorkian. He built and used something he calls a suicide machine. I got to the point after over 100 patients I helped that this is going nowhere. Jack could have gone on for the rest of his life helping people, and no one would have bothered him except when he takes his film and says, look, now I'm murdering people. You had the audacity to go on national television and dare the legal system to stop you. Well, sir, consider yourself stopped. Dr. Death is a free man. You sending me to prison actually made me more invincible. They know now I don't have any fear of anything. Could Dr. Death go to Washington as a congressman? You want change? I'll show you what change is. All my research was done trying to find out when a person dies, exactly what point is their death. Jack of Orkin probably has an IQ of 200. Jack is as diverse an individual as I've ever met. He's written music, books. He invented all sorts of weird stuff. He went to Hollywood and made a movie. But there is something self-destructive about him. Have you thought this over well? You always had a right to suicide, always. Is that big enough for you to fight for all your rights? Dr. Jack Kevorkian is nothing more than a killer.